A top Detroit police supervisor under fire accused of assaulting a handcuffed woman. And now that lieutenant is on leave and the incident is under investigation. Seven investigator Heather Catalo joins us now with what she's learned. Heather. We're glad the Detroit police are investigating whether this lieutenant failed to properly submit a use of force report. And now at least one board of police commissioner is calling for a criminal investigation into her actions. Detroit police say the lieutenant who oversees the 9th precinct is under investigation for allegedly assaulting a woman who was in handcuffs back on May 29th. A police spokesman says Lieutenant Velma Hampton has been placed on administrative leave. Her gun has been taken from her and she will be reassigned. Police officials say the woman who was allegedly assaulted was found naked near the 9th precinct and was having a mental health crisis. Officers had her in handcuffs when the alleged attack happened. It's an assault of a handcuffed person and that's police brutality. Well, it's shocking. You expect that supervisor to have a little bit more patience than the uh, average officer through experience. Detroit Police Commissioner Ricardo Moore says he's glad the lieutenant's use of force is now under investigation, and he says criminal charges should be pursued. We take these issues very seriously. This will be taken care of appropriately, and I'm sure, and I can't speak for the chief, but I'm sure that a warrant request will go to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Detroit Police Chief James White said in a statement, quote, the actions of the lieutenant are troubling and in contravention of our policies. I've directed force investigations to conduct an investigation in an expeditiously and thorough manner. This department is committed to providing professionalism and respect to our entire community, especially to those in mental crisis. Anything short of it, I will not accept. The 9th Precinct is the site of a mental health program called the Crisis Intervention Team. Now Commissioner Moore says he wants to take a closer look at how that program has been used here. I would want the chief to go back and give an administrative audit to find out exactly what has taken place in this particular unit at the 9th Precinct. Because the police and the community do have a good relationship here and we want to maintain that. I have reached out to Lieutenant Hampton. She has not responded to our request for comment. The Board of Commissioners plans to discuss this incident at their meeting on Thursday. Glenda. All right, Heather, thank you.